Hello, this is uh, Richard Wishart. I'm field testing some of my new technology. So I'm here in Huntingdon near Cambridge and I'm looking at uh, Huntingdon Castle. So that mound across there with those five trays used to be um, a Mott and Bailey Castle um, created by the Normans about 1066 and then became the home for King David of Scotland when he was Earl of Huntingdon. So it's quite a historic, uh, historic place. I'm up here on the mound, Pippa Wait. So I've got my dog. I'm trying out my new tech. So it's quite, uh, it's quite an interesting environment because there's a few things. One is a, I've got a Nexus 6P camera, which has got a very high, it's probably one of the best cameras on a phone uh, that there is, just recently launched, launched last week. And the, um, supposed to have extremely good low light characteristics and this is really working well I don't know whether you can you can pick up most of the most of the definition but actually I'm in quite low light here it's been very cloudy and the street lights have just come on so this is quite good I'm also trying out my uh, my new kit as well which is my uh, my microphone so the microphone is a Again, it's a Schwartz microphone, and it's one of the best that I've found. It costs about $50. And I thought the noise pollution here would be bad. Of course it is, because we have the A14, the main uh, east-west trunk road in, in the UK, running about 20, 50 yards away. Then we have the River Ouse down here, and then behind me we have the, the Old Bridge Hotel. So, pretty tough environment. I was also getting a lot of problems previously on my uh, on my microphone because of wind noise. So, the way I've got my microphone connected at the moment means that the uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to pick up the uh, a lot of noise. But I'll only really be able to check that when I get home. But let me show you what I'm doing. So let's turn the camera around. So here we are. Uh, I've got my microphone here. Now you can see it. It's inside the lapel of my jacket, so it defends it from quite a lot of the uh, quite a lot of the noise. And you can see here it's quite a uh, it's an overcast day. Let me put you back on the front camera again. It's it's quite an overcast day here, although it's beginning to some nice breaks in the cloud, but it's really been very, very dull today. And with this, I can also, I have first time I'm able to do it, um, because my old camera didn't support it, but I can zoom in here, which I think is pretty clever. So I can use the optical, the normal um, the electronic zoom, not an optical zoom. And then we have the, the vehicles on the, uh, the A14. And then let me just show you the step over my dog who's securely... Pippa! Pippa! Hello, mate! How you doing? Let's zoom it out a bit. There we go. That's Pippa. Pippa the periscope dog. And I'll just show you this other bit here which you might be able to see or not. Wait, stay. This is the. Uh, this is all about the site. So this is. So it's Huntington Castle Hills, and it was the early history um, in 1921. King Edward the Elder, son of Alfred the Great attacked and drove the, drove the Vikings out. So this was originally Viking and then it was overtaken by the, this is the way, so if you like this view here is the Mott and Bailey Castle uh, and the earthworks round about and this is it now. So that's the new bit and it's also had a featured quite heavily in the English Civil War where the uh, this was probably the last use of it. It was then used as a different out for the uh, 
Cromwellians against their own heads. And of course, Cromwell was born in Huntingdon. He's from Huntingdon Man. And then the other bit was the uh, important role in the rebellion against King Henry II in 1174. At that time, it was owned by William I, King of Scotland, who was also Earl of Huntingdon and who sided with the rebels. Henry II himself became taunted and besieged the castle for a month and then ordered it to be destroyed. So, fascinating piece of history. Really tough place to do a periscope because, of course, we've got low light and we have lots of road noise. And you really don't appreciate it until you think about doing a periscope how the, the impact of noise pollution. Uh, but I'm really pleased with Behind me, or in front of me, the, the, the scene now is almost completely dark, but my low-light camera is picking up the, uh, the definition very well. We're also picking up a little, a little bit of red, uh, red sunset, so red sky at night, shepherd's delight, so we might have a better day tomorrow. And then if you look around here, we have the, uh, this is a look into Huntingdon, so we have the, the, the beacon here, and then you then go down into Huntingdon High Street. And there's actually a bit of road there that is actually the uh, the entrance to the castle. So you can actually see the the, the, uh, the road out from the castle going down on the other side. And it goes down to, I don't know whether you can see, there's a... Let's see if we can zoom in. So that building, you can see the building straight ahead. And you can see the arch underneath. Well, on, if you go through that arch and then on the right hand side you've got the old jail. So that was actually on the ramp up to the castle in Huntingdon. So let's just take you back to the uh, to the layout. Uh, he's probably needs redoing it again, but you can actually see the uh, the castle, the entrance to the castle, and then that was built out further, and that became then uh, the, the circular ring road. So anyway, this is Richard Wisher speaking from Huntingdon Castle in Cambridgeshire. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll just try switching the camera around again. There we go. So Richard Wisher on a dark and very noisy Huntington Castle. If you enjoy this periscope, please follow me and join again. I do appreciate you.